Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd show you another update on the Star Trek ship. Now this is the version I showed in the last video here. Um, and there was a number of things that were brought up and some things I wasn't really thinking about or uh, didn't even know. Um, uh, one comment suggested that the uh, nacelles have to have a, a line of sight, especially on this top part from one another um, on how the system works. And I didn't get that quite right because they're kind of like sitting down where they couldn't really have a line of sight from like the top of this or this part of the nacelle to the one on the other side of the ship. So I was thinking, well, I need to alter that some more. Um, uh, the next thing too was uh, if we take a look at the top down view of this, uh, of this version, I was taking a look at the saucer and it kind of looks heart shaped to me, kind of like it's, uh, this is the bottom of the heart and then it kind of crinks in in this general regent right over here and kind of looked a little bit peculiar uh so that was something else i kind of wanted to address a little bit and of course i was still experimenting with uh some of the the colored lines on here and things like that and i didn't texture much of this or the uh the bottom area down over here uh I, this must be the version before i uh did the last video actually and uh filled in the uh the insides of the nacelles. Then I was working on the uh, nacelle arm. Yeah, th this was also fixed up a little bit too. But anyway, uh, moving on to the uh, the newer version here. This one's got more done on it. Um, there's some more texturing done on the saucer, but some of the biggest changes I did is a lot of uh, moving things around, changing the big shapes a little bit. Um, so if you notice on this version here, I did raise the uh, nacelles back up again. So they are up... Uh, uh, I think three blocks higher than what they were in the last version. And I also pushed them back about four blocks. If you notice that they are closer uh, on this version to what they, uh, to the front of the ship on this version than on this version over here. Uh, so a couple changes done there. I kind of ended up rebuilding the uh, nacelle arms yet again, uh, trying to get that a little bit different. Um, I'm not really liking my... Uh, this area right in here though so it's probably going to need another revision i did uh, work on the back of the uh, hangar area on this one um, so that's kind of what this is looking like right now it's uh definitely more textured it's, again trying to keep that clean look going let me turn off the light here a minute um and then another thing that i did too if you take a look at the saucer design here again the heart shape design this one what i did here is a couple things one i rounded off the front differently than what was going on here this one was more sharp um and let me know uh, your opinion on on the changes made here um from the more sharper design to the more rounded off design now the saucer is still relatively the same size it's just it's probably about three blocks shorter in length on the newer version versus the older version. Um, and then I also raised the entire height of the saucer up another block too. If you can see on this version here, it was uh, coming right in on this line here. I ended up doing some more painting here, but I really have not uh, done the bottom side of the saucer. But I did add another block row up on the top portion here so I could raise that saucer up so I could get those nacelles. Um, from the front view to fit like right underneath the uh, the height of the saucer, but also uh, yeah, quite a bit higher on the uh, chassis than what they were on the last version. Trying to get all these little uh, tweaks done in. Also, I lessened uh, the overall bulkness of this area by another block. Um, not a whole lot, but it's it's not quite as far out here as what it was on the previous version. Um, now, other things that I probably didn't mention before is I, uh, I did insert some launchers or some, some uh, artillery launchers in the uh, bottom part of the uh, nacelles right now. There was another comment talking about putting the, uh, the launchers in the nacelles, but uh, basically was saying all or nothing. In, in other words, put them all there or don't put any of them there. And I got a mixed bag right now. I've got like four of the artillery launchers in the nacelles and the other four are um, currently up on the top of the saucer over in this section here. I got to fill in more blocks on the inside there too. Um, so that's kind of how it is uh, currently, but um, I keep on looking at the nacelles thinking how could I add more launchers in and kind of keep them tucked away and hidden also of course with a line of sight. And the only way I can really think about doing that is modifying the side area here and trying to put in 
uh, another two launches per side in, somewhere in this area. Now, this area is pretty flat and boring. Also, I, I'm experimenting, and it's purely an experiment, trying to two-tone the ship a little bit. Uh, obviously, I got these larger gray areas in here. I got very little fluctuation on colors that I can do on these structural frame blocks over here. Uh, so I was trying to just paint some kind of pattern around there to add a little bit of detail because obviously I can't really texture these. I can't really do much of anything, at least to some of these blocks. Some layers I can, and, and uh, I'm definitely going to go over those some more. Um, but this is kind of what it's looking like now with the new design versus the older design, or, or uh, basically everything got moved around a little bit. Also, one thing I did do is I pushed the uh, nacelles in inward one more block. Um, so they were one block further out on this version versus the uh, new version. But, I mean, overall, I mean, in my opinion, at least, unless something gets pointed out that I'm probably missing, um, I think it looks a little more accurate than what it did. Well, I wouldn't say accurate because I'm not really trying to do a replica here, but a little bit more proportionally better than what it did on the last one. Um, also, I did get rid of the uh, the visible thruster on the front of these nacelles here. Um, and I, uh, I'm, I'm putting in, uh, I use Xenoblocks here so I could get a different color texture look going on here versus the, uh, I think I still got the older, yeah, I'll probably re replace these two uh, to Xenoblocks so I could do the, uh, the different textures on the back of that. Um, another thing I did do too is I modified, again, with the, the heart-shaped design that this uh, saucer sort of had here, it had this big indentation going all the way up to this, uh, to about this level here. And I, I uh, it still has a bit of an indentation here, but I severely lessened that. Um, so the, uh, the radar is now in this location, it's higher up. It was uh, down over here before, and I filled in a lot of this area so it wasn't so cut into like the... Uh, the previous version on the on the back of the saucer still again has a little bit of indentation there but i i think for the most part i lost that shaping of looking kind of like a heart um and i didn't you know i, was, I kept on thinking I, uh, to myself i was looking at that and i was like huh kind of looks like a heart maybe i ought to call this the uh uss valentine or something like that and i was like no i don't want that uh, let's uh let's try to fix it so that's basically what i put a lot of uh some effort in is trying to fix up the uh, proportions of things and trying to get everything dialed in a little bit more and of course more texturing in places it's still not fully textured yet and uh again i'm going to try to i would like to finish that up tonight actually um when i get some time a little later on to uh, actually work that out and then uh then i've got some more things i got to figure out before i really dive into the interior even after the textures the texturing is actually done on it and that is i gotta i still gotta fix my uh uh laser cannon launcher setup over here which is kind of fuggly right now and i gotta kind of uh do something different here on the bottom of the uh, nacelles I haven't painted this in, but the, the arms are different, and i got to seal off this area and cover up this uh, bottom end of the thruster there and make it uh, a little bit better all the way around in those cases. I haven't obviously textured any of that part either. Um, I also have to fit in landing gear um, to make sure that they work somehow with the hangar door. Now, I, I did put in some ramps here just to get the height going on, and I think this will work out. I just got to have some discreet looking landing gear that can kind of, where you won't really see them too much, but would be effective at, you know, landing this ship when it, when it gets down to the ground, um, stuff like that. But um, I just wanted, uh, yeah, your input on it. And, and I, I really appreciate the, uh, the comments suggesting a lot of these things um, too. I mean, things I didn't know. I, this is only the second Star Trek ship I ever, ever built in my life. And the first, the first one, the Proxima, I mean, it took a lot of the same thing, a lot of moving things around and fixing this and changing that and stuff. And I kind of anticipated that this one was going to be taking, you know, all those steps as well. I just wasn't sure. But I, I do think that the the elevated uh, nacelles, again, are looking better. Um, the problem I've got of raising them up higher than what they are now is they either need to go over the top of the saucer or down below the saucer. They can't be at the same height as the saucer itself. 
So I'm, you know, I'm putting it to the, uh, the maximum limit of having those visible from the front of the ship and not being blocked by the saucer itself. Um, and that is, uh, that is, uh, you know, and, and even to, even to pull this off at that height, I had to raise the saucer up another, another block length. Another thing that I was looking at too, again, is this big, uh, very thick neck area. And is it a little too bulky? Um, is the big question. I know, uh, I probably, probably going to get a mixed bag on comments on that. I kind of like the bulkiness of it for two aspects. One, it looks kind of tougher, a little bit meatier there than uh, especially like the Proxima with a thin neck. Um, and also that's going to just, it, it, it opens up a lot of room in this general area of the ship to put in parts and shield parts and lots of things. Um, so I like having that size in there. Um, and that's, that's kind of the other aspect of it. But uh, overall, um, I'm still experimenting with uh, like the color that I'm adding into the ship. I'm trying this dotted line pattern in the back, and I'm not quite sure what I got going on with the double, double line on the front yet. That, that'll keep on getting manipulated and changed. I got to add a lot of uh, surface detail to the ship. And uh, what I mean by that, too, is a, a step that I have not done on this ship yet, and it has to do with alternative colors for panels. Like I've got all these different shades of gray. This is the primary base shade. Um, like, if, but if I uh, were to like paint in this panel and maybe this over here, I'll probably be doing a lot of this kind of thing, trying to trying to make these look like different panels, um, slightly off colored, basically. And I have to go over the whole hull of the ship pretty much like that. And that's uh, also what was done to the Proxima to, to add in the, a lot of this stuff i mean you get some of that anyway with some of these panels looking a little bit differently colored than the others even though they're currently not but to uh add in that kind of panel look going on um so uh as i'm going on with questions here one other question too is i thought about trying to light up the uh, nacelles more than what they are obviously i'm trying to get a little light on the front i'm not so sure if i should have this roundish ring going across here like I like I have going on I don't mind it but I don't know if it looks very accurate either um, but I was thinking maybe I could add in some more forms of texture lighting uh, in certain places on the cells um, maybe like this blue light and that's uh, you know another aspect yet too is I keep on going back and forth between red and blue on some of these uh, colors like I think I think this is supposed to be blue and, but I'm not sure about like the, the lights over here, if they, they can be the red or they can be the blue um, and either work. Yeah, uh, and I just, I'm trying to figure out if there is a system to this or something uh, that's uh, pretty uniform on the actual uh, Star Trek ships that would indicate how I should color this, if it's red or blue. I notice a lot of these ships will use both in different places. Um, and I was trying to embrace that a little bit, but uh, it's like sometimes I, I, I paint this blue and I'm like, yeah, I kind of like it better blue. And then I paint it red and it's like, oh, I kind of like it better red. And I really don't know which which way to go with it. I could kind of invert everything. And there's a lot of options, of course, with it. But um, before I get really cranking on the interior of this ship, I wanted to get the, the hull dialed in. Um, and obviously, and I really appreciate all the comments and, and whatnot, uh, giving me heads up on various things. Again, I was probably okay with these nacelles like this, but it did look a little funky to me, especially from the side profile. Um, and something just didn't seem right. And then it was suggested to raise those nacelles up. Uh, and, uh, and, and that the fact that these, uh, this part of the uh, nacelle at least should be visible from one nacelle to the other across the uh, across the way. Of course, I got to fix up a lot of the texturing again because I did physically move these and it, it swapped a lot of how I had this texture previously uh, with the uh, the lines and stuff in it. So I'm gonna have to go over a lot of those areas again as well. But uh, please let me know what you think on it. If I'm getting a little bit closer with this or not. Um, Ah, yeah, I'm just, again, trying to, you know, I, I said, uh, even when I started this, that I was going to be really picky on this uh, build, 
I didn't really want to rush it. I want to try to get all this stuff right as I'm as I'm going, which makes you feel better about it too. You know, if it, it's a lot of work building one of these things, and if you're not really on board with what is going on, it's kind of a uh, kind of bugs you a little bit and all these little things that are bugging me right now i'm trying to address them um, um uh, again on the uh, nacelles too there is some comments that maybe this area should be a little wider over here i may mess around with that a little bit too um to see if uh that can be swapped or changed in one one way or another uh to make that look a little bit better oh one last thing before i uh before i end the video here is the bottom area here because of the increased saucer height yet again now this is pretty fugly right now i was literally thinking about um oh man i'm gonna forget the name of that that ship again it was like the captain's ship uh, uh like a uh, basically if i got rid of this here i could literally have a top mount form of a landing pad that would probably look okay on the general hull of the ship that could literally dock say an sv here and then have an entry point right below it uh, to get into the ship. So it would be a top mounting, roundest SV sort of something that would look appropriate in this general location um, as a secondary, like a small ship for leaving this one behind and, you know, going someplace with the other ship for whatever reason. Uh, so uh, let me know what you think of that as well. That would be kind of an interesting thing thing to do i don't know i don't think that's necessarily very accurate with star trek ships but maybe i'm wrong on that for some reason i thought that ship was supposed to be on the top side of the saucer and not the bottom size or does it really matter as the is the whole thing um but uh yeah overall um definitely uh definitely get some work done and uh trying to keep the motivation up there to uh to get this thing done as nicely as i can figure out how to do and uh, your comments are certainly helping. Your comments helped a lot on the Proxima. It would have probably been a lot more of a, uh, not near as nice as uh, the shaping and stuff uh, is if it wasn't for the comments giving me all these suggestions. So it's, it's easy to overlook a lot of this stuff when you're building it. And then to think, oh, well, every one of these changes I make, like moving the, the saucer and the nacelles around and all this stuff, it takes time. I mean, it, I got to rebuild areas. I got to retexture areas. I got to do a lot of things um, to compensate for all those changes. But I mean, seriously, I do think it is uh, better, is looking better. But if it's not quite there yet, please let me know. Um, other than that, that's all I've got for today. Just wanted to get a video out and show you where I'm at with this thing. And uh, it's uh, making headway. I'm looking forward to getting into the interior. Hopefully that doesn't take as long as I think it will. But it'll probably take a couple good couple weeks on the interior once I get the uh, the hall in in order. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, a, it's a slow build for sure. Anyway, you all have yourself a great day. I will talk to you later.